Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or if you're new, welcome to my channel and for today I am going to be doing the gender prediction test at home. So these tests are not at all 100% accurate. I just thought it would be fun to do it and you just, you never know. I mean, some people have said that some might work for them and some others have said that no, they don't really work. But you know, you just have to try it for yourself and see. So I thought this was the perfect chance just because I recently did find out that I was pregnant. If you guys don't haven't seen that video yet, go see that video, go check it out. It would really mean a lot. Also, you guys should check out my Instagram. I am really active there. I just want to connect with you guys more. Go ahead to Instagram. I'll leave my link right here and down in the description below. So yeah, go check those out. So we're going to start right now. The first test I tried was the ring test. So for this test, what you have to do is I had to lay down and someone had to hold a necklace. It could be a necklace or a ring that you always wear. I always wear a necklace. I don't really wear a ring anymore. So they did it with a necklace, but it's the same thing. Uh, so you just have to lay down. Someone has to hold the necklace and hold it on top of your belly. If it's in a circle motion, it's a girl. If it's back and forth, it's a boy. So for this one, we weren't really sure what it did. At first, we tried it twice. At first, it looked more like if it was a girl. And then the second try, it looked more like if it was going to be a boy. But anyways, we just got really confused. So this one is like definitely a question mark. So I don't really want to count it. The next test I did was the baking soda test. So what you have to do for this test is that you have to pee in one cup and put baking soda in the other. You then pour all the urine on the baking soda. If it fizzles like a soda or beer, it's a boy. If it's flat, it's a girl. Okay guys, sorry. I had to get Leo because he was starting to get a little bit cranky. So for this one, it, I noticed that it did fizzle. So I'm gonna give it one point for girl. The next test I tried was the odd or even test. For this test, you have to look at the year of conception and the mother's age at conception. If both numbers are even or odd, it's a girl. If one number is even and one number is odd, it's a boy. I also for fun wanted to try a website one. It was for the Chinese calendar. It's pretty much similar to the even or odd test but I just wanted to check on the website just because I thought it was more official that way. Another test that I didn't get to try, but I really wanted to, was the old wife's question. Now this test, I really wanted to do it. I just didn't get a chance to write down all the questions. So I'm just gonna be reading them and then just answering yes or no, and then putting the point to whichever. The first thing is morning sickness. I really didn't get any morning sickness whatsoever with this baby. This is why I couldn't tell that I was pregnant until I was so far along. Um, carrying the baby, high or low? Um, I'm not really sure, but I'll insert a little picture of how when I was with Leo and then now with the new baby and then you guys let me know down in the comments. Am I carrying low or am I carrying high? Mom's craving, sweet or salty? Definitely sweet. I don't think I've ever craved salty. Um, not even with Leo. Sleeping on the right side, girl or left side, boy. I sleep on my right side a lot. Beauty versus acne. So it says worse, that it's gotten worse is for girl and then better for boy. Worse because they say that the girl steals your beauty and the boy just makes you glow. I guess with Leo, I did get a little bit of acne, but for this pregnancy, I haven't gotten any whatsoever. And I'm not really the type of person to break out in the first place, but um, with my last pregnancy, I did a little bit. So I'm just gonna say better because this time I didn't. So another point for boy. Attitude, moody or happy? I'm gonna say that I've been a lot happier lately. I think it's just because we're currently living on our own. So I think that matters a lot. So that's another point for boy. Mom's intuition, girl or boy. I really wanted a girl. I really want a girl. I am not afraid to say it. I am not 
gonna regret it later i really want a girl i already have a boy i mean i wouldn't mind another boy but i really want a girl balance stable or clumsy i am definitely really clumsy everything i hold in my hand i pretty much drop and it's not on purpose i mean like who drops things on purpose but my point is that i'm really really clumsy lately and now i can kind of tell why so that's another point for boy and skin is it soft or dry actually i've noticed my skin been dry lately it's been really dry i've noticed that i get like little patches like little white patches on my face um and it's really weird i've never gotten that before so i'm just gonna say dry all right guys so we're gonna be doing the mayan calendar one so how old i am and then look it up in the calendar and then see when it was conceived so a couple months back i'm gonna say october i'm 20 and then the year it happened 2019 and now if both are even or odd it's a girl and if one is even and one is odd it's a boy hope you guys get what i'm trying to say okay let's look at the calendar so october and then i am 20 years old so 20 right i'm gonna do like a little mark so we know and then the year it happened 2019 and then the month is october so october is what the 10th so so october 20th 2019 that was the day okay so now if we have to see odd even or odd so we have the 10 is an odd the 20 is an even and then the 19 is an odd it said one even one odd is a boy but two evens or two odds it's a girl and we already have two odds so that's another point for girl okay hey guys thank you so much for watching that's all for this video um if you guys have any hints of what you think the baby's gonna be please let me know down in the comments also if you guys have ever tried any of these tests let me know down in the comments um i want to know how it was for you and if it was accurate or not so thank you so much for watching and that's all don't forget to follow me on instagram bye